Hello students, how are you today? Today we're going to learn what is superlatives. Okay. Superlatives. Do you remember do you remember do you remember comparatives? Oops. Yes? Then very good. Good job. You're very smart. Now today we're gonna learn what is called superlatives. Superlatives superlatives are adjectives that compare one noun to three or more nouns. Okay? So we still have adjectives. They're right here. No? So for example, we're gonna use uh, What's an example? Of small or large or big or even happy. Huh? They are all adjectives. These are all adjectives. They describe a noun. Yeah? Describen lo que es un objeto, una persona, un lugar, etc. Okay. But now, instead of comparing one to another one. So instead of saying one versus one, we're going to have one versus three or more. Okay? So here, for example, in comparative, we have the tiger is, let's say, um, let's say the tiger is bigger than the lion. Okay? This is one noun or one object, right? And the lion is another object. So you can put here, for example, um, instead of saying one versus one, we're going to say one, the tiger, tiger is the biggest of the felines okay so we have one right we have one now we have many or plural okay if you notice we change the er it's no more er no no we have now the est okay and we added the G because of the rule that we have here, a consonant, a vowel, and a consonant. Okay, so we add another consonant and we add yes. So superlatives, we have one object versus three or more. So for example, another example, let's say um, handsome. Handsome is a good adjective, right? Let's use now the example with Fernando. Right? So we say Fernando is the most handsome student in Amadeus. This is an example. Example. Okay? So Fernando is one object. We have one object here, or a person in this case. A person. Then we have the most handsome, which is what we are learning this is the thing instead of saying more we don't say instead of saying more handsome handsome we say in a superlative the most handsome okay we no longer use this this is incorrect incorrect okay with superlatives we're using the most handsome. This is correct. Okay? So we have our object here, and then we have this student. We have a lot of students. We have how many students in uh, in Amadeus? Like 400 students? I don't know. Something like There's a lot. A lot of students. Okay? Alright, so let's do one more example with one of these over here. Okay, let's try small. Let's say um, the car. 
Okay, or let's use a pickup truck. My pickup truck. Let's say small, we're going to use small. Is the smallest in my town. Okay, we have one item here, one thing. And in my town, we have several, right? Because there's a lot of trucks in Zacatecas. But mine, my truck, my, because we're talking about my truck, is the smallest. It's the most pequeño. De todos los que. So, these are the superlatives, okay? Now let's check the grammar. If you see, these are the rules. All right, I want you to copy the rules into your notebook, okay? So please copy the rules into your notebook. Notebook, everybody. Yes, okay. The first rule is the same as the comparatives. We have our small adjective, right? Right here. We add e est. Ya no añadimos el er, only e est. Pero hay otra cosa también que se le añade, se le añade el de, de, si se fijan aquí todos tienen de, worst, de, best, de, most, en el otro, en el caso de el comparative, no tenemos de, tenemos nomás then, y así, y así después, ¿sí? Pero acá vamos a tener este, the smallest, ¿okay? Entonces se termina con una consonante y es un adjetivo pequeño, if it's a small adjective, we add est, if it's a small adjective, no, it's a short adjective ending in E, termina con E, you just add ST. If it's an adjective ending in vowel plus consonant, meaning si termina con el I y el G, si, si son tres letras y hay una vocal en medio, se le añade la última consonante otra vez. ¿sí? Entonces sería double consonant, it would be the biggest, biggest, ok? Excepto por la W. ¿Por qué? Porque así son los anglosaxons. All right. Adjective ending in consonant. Okay. If we finish with Y, it changes to E est. So, the earliest. Entonces, por ejemplo, si digo otro que termine con Y, por ejemplo, healthy, que quiere decir saludable, sería, ¿cómo? What? It should be healthiest, healthiest, okay? Adjective, two or more syllables, ¿sí? Dos o más sílabas, modern, okay? Se le añade, en vez de more, se le va a añadir the, the most, the most modern, okay? Y claro que tenemos siempre las excepciones. En este caso tenemos good, bad, fair. And these turn into the best, the worst, and the farthest, Okay, everybody copy this? Perfect. Now we're going to do examples. I want you to do these examples into your notebook. And I want you to write them, okay? Number one, I really like Phil. He's the funniest. The funny. Como la palabra es funny, termina con E. It finishes with Y. We take Y out. And put yest. Boy in our class. Okay? Perfect. All right, and that's it, guys. If you have any more questions, we're gonna we're gonna do this exercise after you're finished. You're gonna do this in the student's book. We're gonna do number one, number two, number three, and number four in your student book, okay? And your homework, your homework, and ah, no homework today. You have to turn in your project tomorrow, so no homework. All right, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.